In this video we're going to have a look at how we can justify the text within a TK Inter label. This computer program creates an instance of a window, it sets the size of a window and then you can see there are four labels and those four labels are pack and we can see we have the main loop that you would see in all of these types of programs on graphical user interfaces using TK Inter. If we look at label 1 and label 3 they simply display the text space they're there so we can clearly see what label 2 and label 4 look like at runtime. If we have a look at label 2 you can see on this slide we're outputting this text within the label and you can see there are two line breaks here and here. This means that we're going to be outputting text on one line, text, text on the second line and three lots of text as you can see here, text, text, text. We've got a border width of 1, we've got a relief of solid which means we'll be able to see the boundary of the label and here I'm setting the font of the text to times and its size to 20. If you look at label 4 you can see that these four lines of text are identical. The difference is here you can see I've made justify assigned right. Note right is uppercase, it's all capitals. If I run this program this is what we're going to see and we can see that this is label 2 and if you look we've got text on one line, text, text on the second line and three lots of text on the third line. If we look here we've got the same but have a look at how the text has been justified. It's all been shifted to the right whereas here you can see it was all centered. If we come back to this label the reason that is shifted to the right is because of this line of code here. We said justify is assigned right and that means justified the text being displayed which is clearly the text that you can see in this label. This program shows one amendment from the code we've just considered and the amendment is shown here where we now have justify is assigned left where we had is assigned right a moment ago. Now when this program runs what we're going to see is this. Now have a look at the text in this label and you can see it's all been justified to the left. This program shows an amendment as well and the amendment is shown here where we have justify being assigned center and notice center is all uppercase all capitals. Now when this program runs what we're going to see is the following and you can see that label 4 shown here has all of the text centered and that's simply because we have put justify is assigned center here. Now label 2 if you look at the code you can see there's no justify for this one whereas if we look at the text that's displayed you can see that it's been centered. Now that's the default value. If you don't specify how you want the text to be just Justified, it puts it in the center like this. If you decide at all times to use justify, if you want it centered, you'd have to write the code as you can see shown here. Let's consider this snippet of code here. Justify is assigned right. That's from the program we looked at earlier in this video. When that program executed, this is what we got. And if you look at this label, you can see that the text has been justified to the right. If we look at this snippet of code, justify is now assigned left. And if we have a look at what we will get when that program runs, it's shown here. And if you look at this label, you can see the text has been justified to the left. If we now consider the case where we had this snippet of code where justify was assigned center, what we will see when the code runs is this here. And you can see that the text has been centered. Noted all these three cases that we have right, left and center all upper case. Do not write mixed case, do not write lowercase if you want to justify your text. They must be uppercase as shown here. If you look at this label on all of the examples, it's centered. Now that's because the code we use to create these labels did not have justify as one of the named arguments. Consequently, the text is centered. That's the default value. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.